He also met with the president of France, and that presented some diplomatic challenges. Listen to President Biden discussing the submarine deal that caused a rift between the two countries and admitting that the United States did not handle it well. I was under the impression that uh, France had been sworn long before that the deal was not going through. I honestly thought it was not going to Let's discuss uh, what happened. The French ambassador to the United States, Philippe Etienne, is here with me in Rome. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much for joining us. I know you had a very busy day. So you heard President Biden admit that the way the U.S. handled all of this, in his words, was clumsy. Do you accept the explanation uh, that the president made that he simply didn't realize that France hadn't been informed about what was going on? No, I, th I think what he said this time, uh, like... Uh on the first phone call with President Macron um, after the incident uh, does matter and is uh, well received in my country. It's also important because uh, it's a lesson for all of us for the future. It, the lesson is that we need consultations, in-depth, close consultations between allies about all issues which are important for our national security and uh, for our national interest. And this meeting today was very much also forward-looking and uh, uh, has uh, ended with the adoption of a very substantial uh, uh, joint uh, statement. Did, did uh, President Macron get an apology from President Biden? Well, you, you, you have heard what he, what what, what he said, and uh, which, uh, which is um, also uh, what he had said on the 22nd of September, which uh, probably, or more than probably, uh, we would have benefited from, from more consultations. Again, this is an important message. So uh, clearly, uh, the, the President Biden was suggesting someone in his national security foreign policy team screwed up, made a, a major blunder by not consulting and briefing America's longest ally, France. Yes, we are oldest allies, but we are also very close allies. We are together in the Indo-Pacific. France is an Indo-Pacific nation. Uh, yes, indeed, we, we must consult. And it is, uh, it is true for everybody, and uh, it is something we, we, will, uh, we will, I think, use uh, positively in, uh, in our future relations. So the past is the past, um, and now we have... Uh, defined the two countries have defined uh, a roadmap a very substantial roadmap to work based on this principle of close consult close consultations and i would say even closer consultations than we did before as we remember uh, the, your government was so upset that you as the uh, french french ambassador uh, yeah. in the united states was recalled for quote consultations again in paris cons i think that's the first time that's happened in u.s french relations and you had to go back to paris and eventually came back to Washington. I, I, President Macron said this, uh, and uh, let, me, uh, let me quote him. He said, trust is like love. Declarations are good, but proofs are better. Uh, so do you have proof now that the president of the United States is willing to move forward and strengthen the relationship with your country? Yes, we have. We have a, a roadmap. We have much to do together. The two uh, presidents have defined a set of priorities, uh, but uh, so on some of those priorities, we have al already decisions. And the best example for this is the increase already decided by the U.S. of its support to our fight against terrorist groups in Africa on the side of the African, the Sahelian uh, governments and peoples. This is already something very concrete, but we have a lot of other very, very important substantial decisions which uh, the two presidents have taken today. Well, we'll see what happens. Trust is like love. Declarations are good, but proofs are better. That's what your president said. We'll see what happens. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, I'll see you back in Washington. Thank you so Absolutely. much for joining us. Thank you very the much. The French ambassador to the United States here in Rome with me.